Hello friends and viewers, my name is Zach and welcome to MediaCal's walkthrough for Deus Ex Human Revolution. Some of you might be wondering why are you releasing another part one? You already have two videos up, why are you going to release another part one? The reason is because those previous videos received a good amount of hate. And you know what, if it was just trolls, I would have said forget it, I'm going to continue, but a lot of you guys left some really nice paragraphs on those videos explaining to me what your problems were and I took it to heart and realized you know what you guys aren't wrong you guys ha definitely have a point there so I'm going to change a few things with this walkthrough number one I'm playing through on the hardest difficulty number two I'm going to be toning down the commentary there might be still some personality commentary in there but I'm going to be focusing on the game not have the focus be on my commentary and also, I will not be bullshitting around. I'm going to be going through in an efficient manner so you guys can see the game and not have to spend hours watching me read through little materials within the game. So I'm hoping that you guys will like these changes. The giveaway is still intact, so remember, if you like this video, you subscribe to our channel and you comment on this video, you get an entry into our giveaway for Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'd love you guys for that like and the subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to our channel. I hope you guys enjoy our walkthrough for Deus Ex Human Revolution. I know that I'm absolutely loving this game right now. It's amazing, and even more amazing is the music. So hopefully you get a chance to listen to some of the music. And anyways, enjoy the walkthrough. everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control their post rates. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Saref is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Saref wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. And in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraf that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraf Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassab reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. 
hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Patient X. That's nothing, Adam. Just some of the research. Look, we really have to go. Be careful with that. It's a first edition. David bought it for me. Are you coming? In a second. Wow. How long ago was this taken? In grad school. Before I met you. Back when you were hobnobbing with the rich and famous, I see. I wonder if Mr. Darrow remembers you. God, I hope not. You know, you really should get in the habit of locking your computer, Meg. I know, I know. Frank gets on me about it, too. Hey! Stop reading my email. Warning. This lab is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay. But the increased neuropeptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric. You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown you noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading of the true theory. theory. I'll ask At David to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. It's not all military. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. <gasps> Damn it! Watch it, Eddie. Those boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? For Washington? Huh. Ah, Dr. Reed. This is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Yes, thanks to Vasily, actually. As I was saying, sir, the Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the backblast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat, but neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. Admit it, Adam. A part of you likes him. Oh, I like everyone, Dr. Reed. Yeah, right. How far are you going? Diane's office. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's gotten big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plans. Did he destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Pritchard. So, are we all ready for the trip? 
There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fixed that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT, and you'd be surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the new I don't care what it takes. I want you, Darrow, in Washington, by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection six. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. So I hope you guys got a glimpse at the little baseball tidbit there. David Seraph is watching the Detroit Tigers very closely, and I'm guessing it's not because he's a Tigers fan. Um, it appears that baseball has steroids 2.0, augmentations. Try that out for size, Barry Bonds. I do want to say, though, that'd make for a really interesting baseball game, Deus Ex Baseball. Richard, where's Megan? She reported in yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the micro cam labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Richard? Richard! Before you can do anything, you must be able to get around. The first move you'll want to learn is the crouch. It will allow you to get into small spaces such as air vents, or to hide behind low objects so you can move about unnoticed. Jumping on objects or ladders is essential for getting to those hard to reach places. Sometimes going high or low is not enough. Sometimes you just need to go fast. You'll only be able to sprint for a few seconds at a time though, so use it wisely. So what is Deus Ex Human Revolution? Um, I'm hoping most of you know the Deus Ex series or have at least heard of it. Maybe you haven't, I mean it was from the PS2 generation a long time ago. But this is the prequel to Deus Ex and Deus Ex 2, and it takes place in 2027. There's Dead, is that Dead Savchenko? You can move bodies in this game. I like that feature. It's it's like Splinter Cell. Uh, um, I'm... Crisis man. I do have a cloak on or something he can't see just ignores me I'm not a threat some objects in the environment can be picked up and move use them to create paths to inaccessible areas or as portable cover during a firefight you can also throw them at the enemy if need be
So, before I began playing, I said how I absolutely love this game. And it's really the atmosphere, um, which I'm kind of ruining right now, aren't I? Maybe I should shut up. I, but I, I just want to sing a few praises of this game. The music is incredible. I just want to sit on the main menu. When the lead starts to fly, it's wise to take cover. This will protect you from bullets and explosives. To shoot, peek out from behind your cover spot, either to the side or from above. Then take aim and fire. Whenever possible, use cover when moving around. Line of sight is important. And by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't get a bead on you. And I really like the voice actor that plays. Adam. Right. I'm Deus Ex Human Revolution. That's my attempt, Adam. <laughs> Probably terrible, no doubt. So, um, this first battle, I'm going to kind of show how not to handle things. It takes a little bit of getting used to, I think. Um, going from first-person shooters and, and shooting from cover. It's kind of wildly controlling, but... Um, you get used to it, and it controls really just fine once once you get used to it. Um, but yeah, like most games, once you get used to it, right? They're dead. <laughs> On hard difficulty, though, this is a challenge. It's it's a big difference between hard and normal. Normal, when I played through this, I was just able to kind of walk through pretty much and hop. Um, I, w I was able to just walk through and hit, kill these enemies without having to worry about it. In fact, on on these enemies, um, I was just able to kind of sneak by them. I I, 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 disp I just dispatched them fairly fairly easily, but on hard difficulty, you will get killed very very quickly. You can see how red I am already. Red I am already. Oh. <laughs> And I only got shot a few times, so yeah. The, the hard difficulty, you want to make use of cover more than you do in Gears of War, probably. <laughs> That's a chick. Who just teleported away. You cannot save those people. What what is, is is this glass like you can't see through it or, um, <laughs> why why does she like run away from me? Am I just intimidating? My stature, I'm a security council. Use the explosive barrels. They're quite nice. How about you? You're dead. Gone. Into a pile of rigged all physics. So that's wrapping it up for this part one. That's the last gunfight in this introduction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it less annoying than my previous ones, and I made through a lot quicker. I look forward to future parts and remember to like the video for the giveaway.
insertion of ERCC-1 graph. Enough people today. <laughs>